I'm John Five, and you're watching That Metal Gear with Ben Smith. Let's welcome back a fan favorite to our second stage, John Five. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Welcome to That Metal Gear, and today we're talking to the illustrious John Five. How you doing, John? I'm good. I have to get out my dictionary for illustrious. <laughs> Hopefully it's a good thing. It is. It's a very good thing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Thank you. Sure thing. John, who was the first guitar player that made you want to play guitar? Um, well, you know what? It was more of a TV show, the TV show Hee Haw. You know, I would love watching Buck Owens and all those guys just picking guitars, you know, and I just thought it was so cool, an electric guitar. And uh, Don Rich was another uh, picker on, on that show, Hee Haw. And that's what I think made me want to play Telecasters because I didn't, I was so young, I didn't know there was any other shape to a guitar. I thought it was just this shape and that was it, you know, so, uh, but, you know, that's probably why I play Telecasters. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, you're one of the few hard rock and metal guitarists that play the Telecaster. It's not an easy guitar to play. In 1950, it was the very first solid body electric guitar, and it was called a Fender Broadcaster. And then uh, Fender got sued by Broadcaster drums made by Gretsch, and they had to take the Broadcaster off. And then, and then a year later, it was Telecaster, you know, so it was... Uh, Really interesting how it came together. And they call it Telecaster because uh, Leo Fender was so obsessed with TV, he thought it would look really good on the television, Telecaster, Broadcaster, you know. But that's why they were um, just a wood and a black pickguard. So, because they look so good on right. black and white TV. Sure. What was the first guitar you owned? Uh, the very first, I had a, um, an acoustic because my parents weren't sure if I was going to play or not. And um, so I got an acoustic and I just would never put it down. I was just obsessed with it. And then they got me electric, but they got me a Fender Stratocaster, oh. which I was psyched about, you know. But it's funny, the true story. I met Stevie Ray Vaughan at a, uh, like a record signing. And I brought my guitar and he wrote, you know, to John, Stevie Ray Vaughan, play with feeling. And then, like a dummy, like a dummy. I was so stupid. I was so little, though. I traded it for like a crappy Kramer guitar. So there's a Stratocaster somewhere out there with Stevie Ray Vaughan's autograph on it to me. How many different uh, signature line guitars do you have? Well, let's see. There is, you know, two Squires. There's a gold and a black. And then there's a little higher price one with uh, three humbuckers. And then there's another one with a humbucker and you know, a twisted telly pickup and um, single coil. So there's like probably, you know, five different ones. So, you know, there's you know one for everybody. That's something for everybody. Yeah. You know, if you could maybe just tell us a little bit about what goes into designing a signature guitar when you're working with Fender on something like that. Well, I'm a Fender connoisseur and I love the history of the instruments. So I love, it's a, called a Fender Telecaster Custom and it came out in 1959 till about 1971. And that's what this is kind of designed around. I love the double binding, and the neck is uh, after a 1966 um, Fender Telecaster Custom, and the rosewood fingerboard, and uh, you know, I just—it's just a very simple guitar, a very simple guitar. But I put the toggle up here, and put a little kill switch here. What's your favorite song to play live, and why? Um, I don't know. I like playing all the songs live, you know? It's, it's, uh, we just put out a zombie live album, and there's not one overdub, not one fix or anything. Um, Rob mixed it on the East Coast. I live on the West Coast. So they were just mixing it, and, uh, you know, they said, what do you think? And I was like, great. So uh, I like just playing all the songs live and just seeing how well I can execute them. John, who was the last guitar player you saw that blew you away? Well, I would say, you know, I love YouTube and surfing YouTube. I came across this guitar player, Joe Mafis, just really fell in love with his playing and, you know, how crazy and bombastic. Of course, I love Jerry Reed and all that stuff. John, why don't you walk us through your rig and what you're playing tonight and what your standard live rig is? Well, this is pretty much my standard live rig. It's, it's like 
you know, an infant could run it um, pretty much. I'm just running a uh, Marshall JVM and a 100 watt. And then the uh, pedal board is so simple. I use a delay like once in the whole show. I use an octave like once in the whole show. So it's mainly these pedals here. And this one's a tuner. So, yeah. so the only real effect is the super overdrive. And then this is a noise suppressor just to knock out the noise. Uh, very simple, very, very simple. And then the, the pedal here is just for clean and dirty. Sure. Are you using the super overdrive as a lead boost? Uh, I pretty much have it on all the time, except for like if, um, you know, if it's a very percussive thing and there's no noise in between. John, tell us about some of your other signature equipment. Well, I have my own cable, thank God, and uh, which is important. It's cool. And they, you know, put this end on here so you don't hear yourself unplugging and plugging in because there's nothing worse than ba-boom, you know, yeah. at a show or something like that. And, um, I, you know what, I, this is so weird, but I love custom picks. And I have this collection, you know, I save everything. And from like, when I first started, I have these custom picks. And these are Mad Monster Party. And this oh. is uh, The Count. And uh, Mad Monster Party was done by the people that did Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And they did a Halloween thing called Mad Monster Party. So. Uh, you know, I have all these weird custom picks. I love them. And people go crazy for them. Yeah. Who makes those? Uh, Seven Kings. And um, so, oh, and here's, uh, oh. you know, that's Boris Karloff, you know, is the, uh, <laughs> the Baron. Okay. Pretty cool. And uh, what other signature? I have a, my own pack of strings coming out with Dean Markley. And um, that should be coming out soon. So, I mean, I couldn't be happier. I'm so, so lucky and fortunate. And, appreciate it so much that everything that's going on yeah what is your normal string set it's so simple 9 to 42 you know not easy. too light not too heavy yeah yeah just like I like my women <laughs> Big thanks to John Five for joining us today, and thank you for watching that Metal Gear.